You know, do you need to go in and define something more? Um, do you have an interesting play of positive and negative space? There's a lot of tension between these shapes. And there's a lot of tension between this shape and this shape. And that's something that I work hard on is really pulling foreground and background. I really try to make a, a tension happen between those. But in, if you're doing something realistic again, like, like this Escher, Escher drawing, um, that tension isn't so obvious because he very obviously is focusing on this image and this part is really just a, a background. It really isn't that, there isn't that much visual tension there, but there doesn't have to be because he's, you know, got a very intent, you know, sort of like a pinpoint focus and he's chosen the right medium and the right sort of presentation to really make his vision clear. So you might have to sit down and write out what your vision is to make it clearer for yourself and then check out, you know, check out the cropping, you know, is this going to work a little bit better if I just cut off part of it, if I just have the circle, then that sort of takes, you know, gets rid of the meaning, so that wouldn't work in this one. But, you know, you need to ask yourself if you have the balance right, if it needs to be more asymmetrical, and so on, and make the adjustments until you can say, you know, because of these, you know, I drew these lines, and these lead me here, and that's where I want the person, the eye of the viewer to be.